Hello, three of the meerkat here. Get on with another episode of Final Fantasy VI Advance. So, yes, now I'm going to have to try to navigate through this. Um, I think there's two more boxes around here somewhere, and I'm going to try to find those. And once I've found those, I'm just going to go for the exit. I might cut out some of the fighting. But yeah, I don't think you want to go for that staircase yet. can be quite hard managing to uh, keep them uh, healthy basically because um, you need to keep a careful eye on uh, your character's health basically and uh, how well they're doing. So. Ah, I think those are the chests I'm looking for. Now it's a matter of how to get at them. Now, something you can do that's quite useful is, since it's a turn-based system, I don't think they can attack you until you attack them. So, you can sometimes wait. You're waiting for uh, the character with Cure to, uh, well, cure herself. I'm going to have a quick look at her status, actually. See how long it is before she goes up a level. So I can tell if it's absolutely worth it fighting all of these characters or not. All of these evil people. Once he moves up a level, then I'm gonna uh, start skipping the battles because I don't think they're really worth it, to be honest. Actually gets irritating as well, how often you have to cure them um, when fighting these things because, as I said, you really need to keep uh, Celis, whose name I'm probably mispronouncing, alive. Okay, I think these are probably the, uh, the last uh, things that's down here. I'm going to give her a great sword. There we go. Um, I suppose it's possible that I'll miss something here, but um, I'm not really going to try that hard, to be honest. I can't be bothered. So there we go. I'm probably not going to get absolutely everything you can get, 
in this game and it's not worth it considering the amount of enemies that are down here so I have no idea why the dogs run you know you wouldn't have thought they'd get any sort of advantage out of that there isn't really a good reason for them to do so well I suppose they're being badly hurt but I don't know. Somehow that seems like a rather poor excuse, to be honest. And I'm pretty certain these are the staircases, as I said. Hopefully this is a white one. I know there are two staircases. I know there's... Yeah, I think this is the white one. I'm not sure where the other one goes, and I can't be bothered to find out. So, there we go. I... Hope you can't see the mouse. Okay, for some reason there were two ways to, to leave by going upwards and just going to the right here. But I'm just going to go to the right here and I'm going to it as well. Now, you might remember that we're heading towards Nashi, so... Uh, she hasn't quite uh, leveled up yet, so I might as well fight these things along the way. They're a little bit tougher than the creatures we've faced in the overworld so far. This is a bit strange because we have already been in this area, so why was there mass migration of new uh, animals to this area? Just uh, as soon as we are basically ready to fight more powerful enemies. Seems like a strange coincidence. Oh well. I also hope that I remember the way. Ashi. And yes, you do have to go through here again, but fortunately, I don't think we need to um, get, as it were, all of the uh, the special stuff that we got last time. The uh, opening the boxes and getting everything in them. We don't need to do that this time. So, uh, be careful of the bears. The bears are. A powerful uh, creature for a creature that um, you just encounter at random. They're powerful anyway, they're not as powerful as a boss. But yeah, it's best to get those out of the way first. That doesn't sound very nice, does it? Also, if you can hear something in the background that sounds a bit like a washing machine, it's my washing machine. Now, the reason I'm fighting these creases here is because there's fewer of them, so there's fewer random encounters in here, so I don't care that much. Uh, but besides that, I will still be hurt anyway, so I might as well do it. Maybe I'm being inconsistent. Uh, I don't... Oh, I think it's petrified uh, that's happened to him, which well, is quite awkward. I'm not really sure whether to heal it now or what. heal it after the battle. I don't know. Probably heal it after the battle unless this goes really badly wrong. And I don't know exactly which creature caused it, so... Um, it using more magic power than I normally do with Terror, but fortunately I still have an ether, so... I don't really understand how, if he's still paralyzed, and as far as I know he is. Anyway, uh, I don't really know how 
was able to uh, to jump around like that while do that thing with his hands. Never mind. Well, it's not uh, it's not saying that there's anything wrong, so let's just assume there isn't. Hopefully, I can remember my way out. It's Freddy before he starts hanging out at restaurants. Hopefully, you got that. That was an extremely obscure joke. I'll just explain it slightly. You see, there's such a thing as Golden and Freddy. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about now, well, I'm quite glad that you don't, because firstly, that joke was terrible. <laughs> and, um, secondly, that joke was terrible. I really think that's worth mentioning twice, because of how awful it was. Yeah. We're about to meet boss here. Boss time. Ah, uh, that's a quite impressive looking machine. Now, something that I feel with this game is yes, you do need strategy, but it sort of tells you what strategy you need. Which is useful, I just think it maybe gives us too many hints, that's all. See? See specifically tells you what to do. So, uh, yeah, the method I usually use is just keep on using the runic braid over and over again. Don't worry if it's pointing at her. But, yeah, see, it only does a tiny bit to her as long as you use the runic braid every time. Of course, uh, Locke gets hit a lot, and it's, uh, it's not a good idea to let him die. In fact, it's a really bad idea, because if she stops using the runic braid, uh, then she dies, pretty much. That's, that's basically how it works. So, uh, you really can't afford for her to have to do anything other than runic braid. You can't afford for her to have to use, um, to have to use anything other than that. So, I think I was just lucky. Um, there. Okay, this is going to be tricky. If I die here, then I will just sort of skip forwards a bit. If if you see what I mean, and get back to this place that I'm at right now. But you can see there what uh, what happens with characters if you don't use the runic braid. So. Yeah, we are in trouble. Fortunately, it doesn't use magic every time. I'm fighting bravely here. I, uh, I don't quite know how long I can keep this going for, but I'm at least fighting. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna come back to a point when um, when I'm doing well, basically, and I will see you in a minute. Okay, sometimes this thing can use poison. Hello again, by the way, but it doesn't really seem to stick with her for very long, so it doesn't seem to keep on poisoning her. I would advise you, after some thought, 
some more thought that I put into this to uh, use uh, high potions often because you can get very badly hurt very quickly sometimes and sometimes you can get hurt at a more uh, leisurely pace and um, it's a pity as well you can't use magic against that thing but you really can't because you need to use runic braids so. and I have actually made a terrible mistake because if you notice the points are uh, if you notice the difference between basically white and uh, green I think the runic braid actually increases her health um, not certain about that, but I think that's what it does. I don't know, perhaps someone could tell me that I'm wrong. Because I suppose there's a chance that I'm just talking nonsense here. I just think that it wasn't uh, it wasn't white. Uh, normally if it's white points that's the points where you've just lost them and if it's green that means your HP has just gone up. So I think what it means is the runic braid causes her hit points to actually go up by a tiny bit and not down. Okay, obviously at this point they must uh, make their way to Nashi without encountering anyone or anything at all. Fair enough. I think that now white thing is called Kapoo. I uh, I don't know why I have to have such a scene name. I'm going to go for those other three, Tero and um, Edgar and Bannon last. Because I know that the last time I tried, I couldn't work out how to get into Nashi with them. I've been told, as I said in the last episode, that there's a way to do it. I just couldn't work out how. So I'm going to stick with him. And also have played along a bit with him. And so I know kind of uh, a little bit about what to do. I'm going to check his status first just to uh, see how much points he has until he levels up quite a lot. So I don't know if I'm going to do a lot of battles or not. I don't know if I'm going to include them or not. Uh, that trooper doesn't really attack you. I think it's cool that he's riding on one of the chachus, whatever they're called. I'll call them chachus. You know, I am sorry if it annoys you if it's wrong, but I really don't care. Chachus is a cool name. Well, it's it's a marginally cool name. It's it's a name I like, so. Yeah, that, that guy looks exactly like he's just another traveller who you can certainly trust and won't do anything evil to you at all or betray you the second he has a chance. I uh, I would suggest yes. Um, it's quite basically if one of the characters dies, then you have the other one to uh, use Phoenix down. So uh, there's no point in going in there or, or looking at those barrels. They don't do anything. So uh, yes. So apparently the area you started on the map is uh, yeah. Um, Nashi is sort of to your left, as far as I remember, but um, as far as I can tell, you need to go to your right to get there. I could be wrong. I'm gonna go in the direction I think it is, and uh, if it turns out I'm wrong, then um, I suppose you'll get to see more of what the overworld is like. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure something out. Uh, I would advise you not to use throw as far as I can tell. And I admit, I'm not an expert on this game. 
but as far as I can tell, using throw actually permanently throws away the objects that you have, so... I'm not going to bother with Blitz that much, because it's a gr much greater pain to have to do it than it is to attack. Although, I'm fairly certain I get how you're supposed to do it, if you see what I mean. Maybe if there's several enemies like this, then I will, but... As with Bannon and other characters you temporarily take on, um... The, uh, the, the Shadow, the Assassin can, um, gain, uh, a level, so, goes up in levels. Ah, uh, it looks like you weren't supposed to go this way. Okay, well I'm going to continue this for a little while, maybe another five minutes, and, uh, see if I can work out where I'm supposed to go. So I might cut some bits out, and uh, then um, once that's done, uh, once I've, uh, after about five minutes, I think I'll have to quit because this has been going on for a while now. So yeah, it's cool, Shadow's uh, dog does attack the enemies sometimes. Uh, I haven't seen this happen that often, but it does happen. I didn't get to play as a, as him for that long though, so um, I'm assuming the dog returns. Uh, maybe he doesn't. I I don't know. Oh yeah, you can uh, press left. Uh, an extra time and um, now the dog does return, that's good. An extra time and basically it goes to row and what I think that uh, does is to um, attack the entire row, so basically attack uh, lots of uh, all of the enemies at once. I think that's what it does. And it looks like you actually have to go down here instead. And I was uh, wrong about that. Oh well. They uh, they don't do a lot of damage those things. So yeah, as you can see by that beaker there, he is poisoned, and I'm not sure I actually have an antidote on me. Yeah, well, I don't have a lot of these, but... and uh, it doesn't do what I was hoping it would do. So that's also kind of annoying. Never mind, I, he will just have to die, I guess. It's the only thing I can think of. As that my screen's not doing that because there's something wrong with the screen. It's doing that because, um, and that's what it does when a character's poisoned. But yeah, I'm hoping that, um, if he dies, then, um, he will be restored without being poisoned, and if I'm wrong about that, well, that's just sort of awkward, <laughs> I guess. Uh, don't have anything to say about that. Uh, maybe I'll reach the town soon. I mean, Dome is supposed to be somewhere around here, so... I guess I'm about to find out. I was going to high potion him, because I've got a thing saving and going to die back. Right, now my hope is when I do this, he will no longer be poisoned. He will still be hurt, because this doesn't fully restore HP, but he will no longer be poisoned. One of those things is called a me.
Well, this might seem like a strange place to stop, but I have in fact been, this episode has in fact been going on for quite some time, so now seems to be the ideal time to stop. I will see you next time.